Hey, Gemini gang. Thank you guys for tuning in. All Gemini placements take what resonates and leave the rest. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. If you want a book with me, okay, it's on my website. If you want to try uh, Mystic Sense, the link for that is in the description box. You get to try it for free. And there is also a discount code. So check in the affiliate links. I will be adding some more affiliate links down there um, soon enough. Okay, so always check those out, you guys, for discounts and things like that. All right, so let's see what's going on, a Gemini. Uh, all right, so <gasps> wow, Gemini. So we have romantic feelings, religious factors, past life relationship. Also, children came out, but I'll take the bottom of the deck, which is the soulmate card. All righty, Gemini. So one, one, one. As I looked over. Okay, so Gemini's, you are dealing with a soulmate, or you feel like this person is your soulmate. Past life situation, Gemini's. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'll take the five of wands, this is on the top, but I will show you guys what else came out. Lots of cards, you guys. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the King of Cups. Heavy emotions here between you and this person, uh, Gemini's. Someone may have also been fighting their feelings, uh, Gemini's, or someone just wants your attention. Somebody wants you to give them attention again. There's that King of Cups again. Could be a Scorpio, the Tower is on the bottom which is also a Scorpio. So yeah, Gemini's, I feel like um, someone's feelings for you overwhelms them. It could simply be that this Scorpio is wanting your attention, uh, Gemini's. I'll take the star card. Um, we're also seeing the moon and the magician, Gemini. So there could that could point to some type of um, insecurity but this this card too can also be like someone that can be like manipulative as well uh gemini's i'm seeing the queen of cups so you could be dealing with a divine counterpart um yeah so gemini's i feel like someone is wanting to heal something with you or you're wanting to do that with them the full card oh wow could be an aries with the three of wands on the bottom. Yeah, Gemini. Someone's getting ready to take that leap towards you. Now, this could feel like something that is um, far off to you, Gemini. And what I mean is, or to your person. And what I mean is, it's like this person may feel like you are distant or they feel like you are with out of their reach, if that makes sense. But also the star can be about vulnerability, Gemini. So it's like someone is ready to be more open with you, more vulnerable with you. Because the star, she's nude on this card. It really gets no more vulnerable than that. <laughs> so it's like someone is wanting to be more open with you, more vulnerable, Gemini's. And they're ready to take that leap. Or like I said, this could be you towards someone else. Whoa, cars just went fucking everywhere. I'm seeing the fool again. Y'all see how spirit does that? The fool again, you guys. The two of cups. Of course, I'm not going to take all these. Hold on, guys, while I pick up these cars. But I want to show you guys that before I pick them up. Come on now. That's, that ain't no coincidence. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So I've gathered up all the cards. <laughs> the justice card we're seeing. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, Gemini's. Yeah, but like I said, I feel like someone's ready to take that leap towards you, um, Gemini's. It's like someone's ready to like go for it, if that makes sense. 
Two of Swords, Page of Cups. Wow. The Five of Wands again, you guys. Yep, someone wants your attention. Mm-hmm. The Two of Swords, too, can be about, like, calling the truce. So if you two have been fighting or argument, it's like this person wants peace with you. They want to... Um, be in alignment with you, uh, Gemini's. Like they don't want to. They don't want to argue anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to do this back and forth with you anymore, Gemini's. This this really goes in line with the other reading of someone wanting to argue with you, and now they don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Oh wow, guys, this person's in it for the long haul. They may also want a family, Gemini's, which I get for you guys a lot. A family, children, even if it's like a blended family. I feel like this person is wanting more with you. They want it all with you, um, Gemini's. Especially because in this picture, there's a family, you know. So if this person is thinking about marriage and family and things like that, I feel like um, there is a level of vulnerability with that. Uh, Gemini's. It's like this person is wanting to have something solid, something stable. This is probably one of my favorite cards to see um, in a love spread because this is someone that's serious, depending on, you know, the surrounding cards, of course. But this is somebody that's serious. It may not be lovey-dovey like the Ten of Cups, but this is something solid. This is something, someone that's not going anywhere. Because you see, there's, there's an elderly guy in the picture. Like, this is this card is, represents generations, um, Gemini's yep oh my gosh wow the ace of wands you guys are you serious With the magician on the bottom yeah someone's ready to take that leap I feel like it's, someone's going for it Gemini's Someone's going for it. <laughs> I hope you ready, Gemini's. <laughs> I hope you ready because somebody's about to go for it. If you haven't heard from this person, I'm seeing whatever the ten of fucking pinnacles again, y'all. Look here. Okay. So it's going to be different for all of you. Whatever the next step is for you guys, because the three of wands is about taking something to the next level, whatever that looks like for you. So if you're not talking this, to this person, be prepared for communication to pick up. If you are dealing with this person and, and it's not it's not committal, get prepared for you guys to put things in motion for commitment. If you are committed, put things in motion for marriage. Like whatever is the next step for you, Gemini's, I feel like that's what's coming. And it may have taken a long time because this person, I feel like, is having to overcome some fears of theirs, um, Gemini's. I feel like you also have needed to overcome some fears as well. Child, I hope you're ready. <gasps> Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't make it up. The Five of Wands again in the same place you guys in the same fucking place and then we're seeing the hierophant the moon again and the five of pentacles yeah someone's not not wanting to lose out on you but i also get with the eight of pentacles on the bottom someone trying to like build themselves or get themselves out of a bad situation that's kind of what i'm getting um gemini's but i feel like this person wants to end you two may argue a lot, which I pick up for you guys. Like, it's it's just a lot. And for me, I feel like it's over stuff that's small. Because the Five of Wands can be about, like, petty arguments. Like, little shit that y'all go back and forth about. Um, and then it turns into big things, Gemini's. So, I feel like this person is, is not wanting to fight with you anymore. They don't want to have these these little petty back and forth, the, the bickering and things like that that y'all have with each other. Like they, they want to call a truce, Gemini's. And especially if you're not talking to this person, I feel like um, they want to get past it. Cause I feel like it may have been like some type of petty argument that y'all had and then y'all quit talking to each other or y'all just started acting funny towards each other or whatever the case may be, Gemini's. 
y'all the queen of, now didn't i tell y'all i saw this earlier the queen of cups is is over the page of cups some of you have a child with this person or you are meant to have a child with this person in this lifetime because it's under the religious factors card the king of pentacles the, the queen the king of pentacles why did i say that the king of cups the queen of cups and the page of cups so i feel like with that energy gemini's um some of you may be oh the y'all the king of cups on the bottom again some of you are meant to bring a child into this world with this person now i know that's not going to resonate with all of you but for some of you it's literally in the stars for you yep and you two may talk about it or this person may have mentioned it to you why the king of pentacles just come out oh my god y'all <laughs> i'm fucking good man spirit comes through me something vicious y'all the king of pentacles just flipped out and i just said why'd i say that i'm telling you i feel like this person is trying to build themselves financially which is what i've been getting um gemini you could also just be dealing with a taurus but like i said um this person wants to build with you like they see you as prosperous they see you as security they see you as someone that they can have a great life with um gemini's and for some of you that that is going to be the case like you are literally going to be the key to this per to this person's financial security uh gemini's and i don't mean that this person's using you but a lot of times um it's just certain energies that come into your life that build you up it doesn't mean that you're not capable of doing it on your own i like to use the example of um what example was that that i used during my one-on-ones um oh beyonce and jay-z that's a really good example it doesn't mean that jay-z is not capable of building his empire on his own but that feminine energy that comes in uh for him or that came in for him took him to the next level so that's the energy that i'm seeing here uh gemini's it's it's like an energy coming into your life or in, in each other's life that's going to take you to the next level even beyond financially um gemini's but yeah this person is seeing you as prosperous or some type of prosperity in their life beyond the material things uh gemini's but i'm seeing material things heavily <laughs> yep six of swords healing mm-hmm yep this person wanting to heal y'all's connection and we saw this at the beginning of the reading the judgment wanting to bring something back to life um gemini's moving into calmer waters this is the same energy i get with this over here with this five of wands here twice with the two of swords where this person wants to get out of conflict with you gemini's because i feel like you two may go back and forth a lot um over like really small shit gemini's things that can be fixed things that can be corrected um and then you know people two people kind of getting in their egos and things like that and then it puts a damper on y'all's connection gemini's but i feel like this person is wanting to move into calmer waters with you and like i said i hope you're ready because this person is ready to take that leap they're ready to come right for your ass gemini's <laughs> All right, so cutting the deck, I'm seeing, I'm sorry for how I acted. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's that five of wands. And it could have been both of you guys, because usually the five of wands is an exchange. It's it's like both people it, are going back and forth with each other. It's not just one person. Have crazy by music, soul child. I'm seeing things differently now, yep. What I tell you? What did I tell you? Thank you for always being there. Yep. Fight for you. What did I tell you? Now, this is heavy from the last reading I did for you guys, where this person will legit fight for you. Gemini's. Oh, I made the wrong choice. The grass wasn't greener. I haven't seen this one in a while for you. 
Shadow work, childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I can't be apart from you much longer. I'm coming. I told you. What did I tell you, Geminis? I want to put my arms around you and never let you go. Let's get a couple of split the decks. I didn't know what I had till I lost it. One more. There's nobody else like you. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Geminis. Thank you for watching. Peace out.